Hello everyone, we have a fabulous mom and jive variation for you on this video. We'll bring Shane in. All right. So we're going to just put in a small amount of motion here. Um, and we're going to do, I guess you would call it a first move. And it's going to be from a right to right hand hold. And we're going to bring the girl in. If I talk first move, first move, we bring the girl into that position. I could do it that way, but it sort of doesn't look as good. So we're going to go into hammerlock. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. That's a nice accent. Two, three, four, or five, six, or five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. And then I create another hammerlock. Five, six, seven, eight. And then we're ready to start again. And I just called it an arm catch because I wasn't actually back at hammerlock. So the thing about arm catch going out is easy for me. Alright, so right to right hand, I will do that again. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. I have a hold there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Go again. <laughs> Ten, eight. All right, so we start in the rotating first move. Yeah, in so shape position. any move that you're in where you're in a um, promenade. promenade or a shadow type position, generally speaking, inside leg, inside leg, outside leg, outside leg. So instead of doing a first move, which I could just do this same thing and then bring the hand up, I feel like it looks a little better from hammerlock because I get a nice little bit of rotation. I release the hand. So the hammerlock, if you go back to the hammerlock videos that we have, we want to make sure we drop the lady's elbow till it's straight, the gentleman's right hand pancake flips, and then we move the hand back up to the small of the back. He's going to release at that point in time and go to the shoulder blade so we can rock back together, continue the rotation by stepping across the slot, over rotating. He's going to step forward with his left hand and catch my right upper arm with his left arm to free spin the inside to where he's gonna be ready to kind of cuddle or catch or shut up, um, promenade position that. And then together he walks me back. Outside feet rock back. He's gonna tuck me, and like he's calling this a little bit of a hammer lock because he's dropping the hand and flipping it to the small of the back so he can reverse that arm catch. This and time though, catch you, that looks nice <laughs> he's making a really nice upper body line by reaching through with his right hand on my right arm and then free spinning me out. So we can drive that from the other direction. Which is this one? I guess so. <laughs> I've lost track. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, five, six, we're walking back. So five, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I hold on that eight. One, two, three, four. So notice that Shane actually showed you both arms there that you can reach across for that last catch. Arm catch. Yeah, and one of the things, sometimes because we leave things a little bit earlier, so let's just say it's the first catch where we rock, and I leave that on a, on a downbeat for some reason, it's not really wrong. It looks better if you stretch it through the one, two, but you might hold it there a fraction longer. Lead it out late, so you come out on a foot that feels like it's the wrong count, so it doesn't really matter. Because to her, she's rocking back and it has to be a downbeat. So you're paying attention to her count, what would feel natural to her. Yeah. And then when you step in together to be in that promenade position where we walk backward, if mm -hmm. you do that, then we're walking backward on that downbeat, which is what we do naturally. So when you're holding for advanced male footwork, even though it might feel strange to you, like you're, on you, you're transferring yeah. the, the um, the timing, attention, attention to her timing while yeah. you're holding. And that means we just hold for two beats, sometimes longer. Uh, so don't feel like it's wrong because once you get back into open frame, you can go back to your normal or basic footwork. Yeah. All right, so did we do it from this one? We do, but I'd like to do it one more time slow. Seven, so we eight, one, two, three, four. Rotating Five, six, seven, eight, one. Arm. I've Pressure. come across the track. One, two. two, one, two, three, four. I did a walk, walk there, so I stayed on time. Walking back, five, six, 
seven, eight, over rotate her, and that's important, we haven't talked about that yet, but you're gonna over rotate her with a little bit of a rock so that when you step through and drop the left hand into hammer lock, she wants to rotate so you can arm catch. You can have either arm, depending on what's flying the manner. Want to. I just change it out there, part of the musicality. And then free spin out. And I just walk that out, walk, walk, walk. It gets me back on the natural foot to start the dance again. So we'll count it. Five, six, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. And we did it without any holds. Anytime you have that arm catch, it's really nice to stretch it out, whether you're turning your hand to shadow position or whether you're free swing. So yeah. you're almost out of hold there. Like you will get better at it. Like when the music's on, I always find the moves are easier because you're really moving as fast or as slow you need to to the music. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So you want to practice those things. And remember the first move for the leader's footwork, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I've got to go around seven, eight, and then I'm going to step a little bigger and across the track. And then the girl's got basic footwork and she just step, 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 turn, pivot, turn, step, step, and away you go. Practice that, have fun.